Hello and welcome back to more Baldur's Gate 3 with me, I'm still Django. Uh, so yeah, after an <laughs> absolutely hectic battle, which took up about an hour in the entire episode, uh, I've run around, I've done some, some looting, but before we get to any of that, we're going to do the levelling up. So as we go to level 4, um, I get to pick a new cantrip, so let's do that first. So I've got Blade Ward and Eldritch Blast. I don't really need another attacking cantrip like Chill Touch. There's just no point. True Strike is awful. I don't really have a lot to choose from. Yeah, I'm not... Eldritch Blast covers me. I don't really need any of these. Although Poison Spray could be handy for when I'm up close, maybe. As it's a save rather than an attack roll. I haven't seen enough value out of Mine Illusion or Friends... And Mage Hand seems kind of busted. It's not working properly. Well, given that True Strike is the worst cantrip in the game, Chill Touch just doesn't stack up alongside... doesn't stand up next to Eldritch Blast, rather. We'll take Poison Spray. It's not ideal. Um, I kind of wish I had a slightly more expanded cantrip. I'm pretty sure Warlocks normally have more cantrips they can choose from at this stage. But... That's fine. We'll take Poison Spray and it gives me essentially a melee option since the spear looks cool, isn't very effective in my hands due to my paltry 8 and strength. So we get to take an actual spell. Let's look at that. What are our options? Yeah, we don't want darkness. That would... Seeing how <laughs> seeing how it's gone down with stuff like um, you know, darkness clouds created by bloody arrows or fog clouds, stuff like that. I see myself hampering more than helping. An additional whole person could be great, but I use Hex a lot, and that's my concentration, so I don't know if I want another concentration spell. If I'm honest. I mean, Raven Feelwoman is nice, but it is my concentration. Shatter could be good. Uh, give me an AoE attack. Arms of Hadar. Maybe... That one's a save as well. And I think it's... I think it is a bit of an AoE, but it's obviously it's a, it's a close range AoE. And we've got Charm, Command, blah, 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 Witch Bolt. I think we're going to take Shatter. It's a pretty powerful spell. Uh, 3d8 Thunder damage, which is pretty good. If we're fighting anything like a Golem, you know, um, it says there's something made of inorganic material. They'll have disadvantage on that save, so it's more likely to, to hurt them. And I think even if they save, they're still taking half damage. So there's no avoiding it. Ooh. There's no completely avoiding it. It will hurt. Right. And we can actually switch a spell out if we find we're not getting all that much use out of it. There isn't really any of these that I'd rather have, to be honest. We haven't got much use out of blindness, but that doesn't mean it isn't worth having. I can still see foresee situations where it could be good. And it should be, yeah, you know what, we'll we'll leave our spells as they are. I don't believe we get another spell slot. Not yet. Uh, obviously, walks don't get many spell slots at all. So, hey-ho. Right. So, we could potentially take a feat? I'm not sure. It's It's... Can I... Right, okay. So I can either level up some stats, or we can take a feat. What feats have we got available? Okay, Athlete, don't need. Defense Duelist, nope. Dual Wield, nope. Great Weapon Master. Bloody Armoured. Don't need Magic Initiate. Martial Adept. If we took Martial Adept... Okay, no. I, I think I'm getting that confused. I'm sure there's one that gives you proficiency with Martial Weapons. Could actually be kind of useful for me. But let me do wheel scimitars, for example. But no. Mobile. Eh. No. We don't make melee attacks enough. Motley armoured. Oh, here we go. Weapon master. So we get to pick four weapons to be proficient with. And we get to up our decks a little bit. But it wouldn't be enough to get us... It would only take us up to 13. And we need a 14 if we wanted to turn our dex modifier into a plus 2. And that's proficiency just in skills, not in weapon proficiencies. There is a small part of me that kind of wants to go weapon master. 
just so I can pack a scimitar, but we've already moved away from doing a melee build with this guy. It just it doesn't quite work. Not yet. So I think we're just gonna go for straight up stat increases. Um so what does it want? It wants to up my constitution by one and hang on. Right. So it's already applied in there. So yeah, that'd get my charisma to eighteen, which is good. Eighteen charisma would be handy. Um because that would just make my Eldritch Blast a little bit more powerful. It would up my Spell Save DC. And also help my social skills, my persuasion, my intimidation, deception, all that. It does leave me with one more point. I mean, I could have put my Charisma up to 19, but... Like I say, if ending, finishing on an odd number, it just doesn't really do a lot. Um... Yes, I can't actually improve any of these stats, not in a meaningful way. And there's no feat that gives me... Yeah, it's not like there's a resilient feat or something. I can't put one point into a into a charisma and then get a feat out of it. It just doesn't work. Yeah, a lot of these feats really are... They are more for your melee fighters, I guess. Well, no, so if we put it into, put it into decks, why not? Because it doesn't really matter. Alright, so that'll be me. Not, doesn't seem hugely impactful on surface, but, oh, hey, more hit points. We've now got a max of 31, which is nice. Right, Will, let's look at you. So, also Cleric. Um... Again, there's just no point giving you true strike. There's no You're going to have to take poison spray as well. I, I can't see a situation... Oh, actually, then again. I don't know if... I don't think that using Mind Illusion on an enemy, like near an enemy that I was in melee with, would then give me advantage. I don't think it distracts them to that degree. I think that's something more specific to Invoke Duplicity that Shallowheart gets. But you never know. He might be able to do something with Mind Illusion. So, sod it. Let's give Mind Illusion and test it out. We can... Maybe we'll find something interesting. Now, he also uses Concentration quite a bit. So we probably don't... use uses Hex primarily. So we probably don't want to take a Concentration spell. But I am tempted with Will here to take Arms of Hadar. If he's got multiple enemies near him, could be really useful. Do we want to replace any of his spells? I mean, we aren't getting much use out of Armour of Agathis, if I'm honest. But then again, I don't see anything that I'd rather take. No, we'll leave him as is. Right. Your stats, Will. Hmm. I am really... He uses a rapier, doesn't he? So it's his dex that's affecting that. But unfortunately, his charisma's not quite so... Given he's a melee guy, tell you what, we're going to... Or is there a feat that we'd be better for him? Hmm. I'm not sure how well that's going to work, given that he... We can't really choose when we use our reaction. Maybe it does give me that option. Could always go lightly armoured. Well, actually, I think... Aren't we packing leather armour already? Not sure. Mobile could be good for him can make a melee attack and then reposition himself. But I'm trying to think of how many times something like that really would have come up. No, I actually think the best thing to do with him, given his stats, is no, we won't boost your charisma. Because you do more do your melee attacks more. So we'll put one into dexterity and one into con. So you'll hit a little more often, increases your damage modifier and also some more hit points. And more likely to Make a concentration save. Alright, that's Will. Yeah, probably not optimal, but... Okay, what shall we take for you, Gail? Uh, so you can have another cantrip. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take light. Because there's been a lot of times when I've gone to attack someone and it's been, no, they're obscured by shadows. Really? So this way, we might be able to do something about that. So I'm going to take the light cantrip. 
spells. What is it, dog? What are you up to? The dog's being weird. Hmm. I'll have to go check on him in a minute. Okay. <laughs> or we could take dark vision. No, because then that uses up a spell slot. Alright. I've got a lot of options. What spells have we... What have we currently got? The only ones we're not really using much. Well, if we can take an abjuration spell, that would be good. Something else to um, power his abjurer's ward. We don't have that as an option. Okay, okay. Hmm. Color spray's becoming pretty pointless. Now, he doesn't use his... That's interesting. It's not saying it's a concentration spell. He doesn't use his concentration as much, though. He's been using more... Well, magic missile, to be honest. So maybe we do take something like Charm Person, and if somebody's coming at him, we can distract it. And then Shadow Heart's not having to use it. Could give him... No, he doesn't need Scorching Ray. He's got magic missile. Um, God, decisions, decisions... We could take Find Familiar and add another, uh, a second Larry. I think we need to stop summoning Clyde, because those guys are useless. Those little quasits. You know, that scare ability is kind of useful, but you get to do it once per short rest, and it's not seeming to actually refresh, so it's more like once per long rest. He doesn't need Misty Steps. Take that one off the table. He doesn't need Invisibility. It's not really worth it. 44... And then 2d4, so 8d4 total. Not bad, but for a second level slot, it's not great either. Okay, I am. I'm going to be cheesy as hell. I'm going to take Find Familiar, because that stuff seems broken. I'm going to take Raven Feeblement with, with Gale here. Because I think that could actually... Where it doesn't make much sense for, for my guy to be using his concentration to do Raven Feeblement, I think it does make sense for Gale stood at the back. That guy, weaken him. Done. Someone like Raslin, even though he didn't actually pose all that much of a threat. Could be very useful. Alright, we'll do that. See if I'm not using a lot of our stuff. Alright, we won't, we won't prepare Witch Bolt. We will have Raven Feebleman ready. We haven't really used Thunderwave at all. Ever. I get it's kind of useful if somebody's gotten up in my face. But I think it's going to be more useful to have a third imp up on the field, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. As for your level up, yeah, so as we saw, most of the feats really are melee. Um, while he could buff his con, get him some more health, I think it'd be better to just get his intelligence up to a plus four. So do that. And last but not least, Shadow Art. Alright, so you get another cantrip. Oh. Light or thymaturgy. Okay, well, you can take light as well. Fine, we're going to have two people with light. That's good. That means we can definitely make sure we've got an area well... Well lit. Alright, what... To be fair, this isn't picking new spells to know. This is just picking spells to prepare. Um, and obviously now we've gone up a notch, we can prepare more spells. Hang on, if I max out... Hmm. Actually, to be honest, I think it is worth putting both those points into strength. Getting her that plus three. Because we use her as a melee hitter more than we use her as a full on caster, don't we? So. Alright. So we can have one more spell prepared because obviously our level's gone up. Do we use it for Bane or do we use it for something else? We've never even used Guiding Bolt. Hmm. I'm tempted to I'm tempted to take and flit wounds. Very powerful spell. That said, no, Prey of Healing's only useful out of combat. Silence mm, no, because they just move out of it. Uh, 
Okay, what I'm torn between is taking Inflict Wounds to give the potential to do some very heavy damage up close, or actually prepare Create Water again, because it would be really useful to be able to put the bloody fire out that seems to crop up everywhere. We'll take Inflict Wounds. Now, I am actually going to look at, at possible feats for her, because... I mean, we could take Heavily Armoured. We could... No, Martial Adept's not really going to be worthwhile for her. We've already got that, don't need it. We could take Shield Master. Although, unfortunately, we don't get the Shield Bash bonus action from it. Still, could make her a little bit more... No, it's, it's only going to apply to deck saves. Don't think it's going to be all that useful. No, we will be really boring and we're just going to max, well, put our strength up to plus three. Alright, so not the most exciting level ups, but hey, here's what it is. Alright then. So we did a lot of looting. As you can see, found quite a lot of stuff. A whole bunch more scrolls that I've given to Gale already. Um, I had to reorganise Shadowheart was getting over encumbered, so that's why Gale's now got leather armour and Will's got the Ringmail armor. Um, found the warped headband of intellect that was on old lump back there. The ogre, the one that talked all proper. Um, a few more magic item like magic weapons that was on Raznor. Raznor. I can't draw Ragslin or whatever the bloody hell his name was. Um, probably going to sell that one as well because I just feel like these absolute weapons are probably a little bit on the cursed side. Some more magic arrows. Um, what else? Found a lot of jewelry bit more gold uh, and some random keys. Gould knows what they're going to actually do. We also did find I was kind of expecting Ranglin to have some kind of note on him but he didn't. Nothing of any real interest to be honest. But we have found Lump's diary which I'm going to read for you now. So <clears throat> get a, a, a dumb ogre voice on. The tribes and travels of Lump the Enlightened. Day one. Now that I see truth I can scarcely remember a time before. At first, I thought it the human's thin flesh that bestowed this gift, but I've come to believe it was the circlet she wore. It was crunching that too. Day four. The goblin boss, Draw Ragslin, made a tantalising proposal. Spare any prey bearing his new god's brand, and feast on the rest. He offered considerable coin in return. Uh, that's actually it. Alright, cool. Um, short and sweet. So, there's a dead mind flayer over here that we haven't looked at yet. Whatever the deal is with this guy. Okay, so he's just got some of those bulbs on him, but... Something else I'm wondering. Oh god, our hot bar is crazy now. Um, too many things. Put you there. You there. Move all that along. Oh, got bloody shatter to fit in now as well. Sod it, doesn't matter. Right, maybe, just maybe, this will work. Interesting. Do you? Do you feel it too? Don't make this weird, Will. There's no doubt. This creature is responsible for your parasite, and it's waiting for your questions. Specifically, this creature. All the mind flayers that I've come across. Could be any of them. I thought the one that we encountered who had possessed the three fishers. I thought that was the one that. Had... All right. I've got five questions. How do I get rid of the parasite? You see the tadpole in the mind flayer's hand. Not a parasite. Perfection. That's a matter of opinion. Rebirth is sloughing flesh. A new skull housing cold, sharp intellect. You are not answering the question I asked you even remotely. I want to know how to get rid of it. You just went, oh, it's so perfect. It's going to transform you. It'll be wonderful. No. No. All right. Why me? Dark, empty pods flicker across your vision. They demand new flesh. Stupid question, really. It's probably just random, isn't it? Okay. Who's the absolute? What's going on with that? Fractured images fill your mind. Curved drow blades. Crude goblin torches. Gnome teeth. Dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. So what, the absolute is 
the illicit hive mind. Mm -hmm. And what does the absolute want from goblins? King bows, obedient. The flesh of his tribe becomes the flesh of the absolute. Okay, so just spreading your your whole thing, I guess. Spreading your influence, right? I think this might be the more prescient question because there might be a specific reason other than just gift hunt illicit. Why did they attack you? You watch through the creature's eyes as it curses the starborn slaves. They want the ones from the ship. Darkness and sun barely contained. The Mind Flayer's corpse hmm. twitches, then collapses again. Didn't really feel like a very full answer. Anything on these skeletons? Skelling bums, you carrying anything? No? Alright, well I didn't feel like I learned all that much from you, to be honest. Oh, there's a scroll up here. Oh, scroll to speak with dead. Just in case we didn't have this amulet, I guess. Right. I'm not interested in sitting on his throne. So I guess I've explored everywhere else. We've just got back here to look at now. What is up? Oh, there's a bunch of crates and barrels to look in. Right, real quick. Anything interesting? Zucchini! Uh, yeah, give that to Gail. He needs to eat something. Any more food? Oh, brilliant. I'll just take all of this then. Cool, we're going to do some food healing in a second. Get ready to stuff your faces, peeps. Stop messing around, guys. That barrel can't be searched, only moved. Okay, not interested in any of that. Ooh. Meat, which, as we've learned, can actually heal quite a lot. All right, let's 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 deal with this real quick then. You can have this. I think you've already got to speak with Dead Scroll. There you go. I've got the food. All right, Gail, eat that zucchini. Or courgette, as we would call it. Right. Okay, looking good. Basically full health. We'll sod it. We've got enough. Have a bit of garlic. Will, you're not looking all that hot. Some pork belly. Have another one. Full health. Shadow heart. Some of those pork ribs. And a zucchini. Perfect. And then there's me. Awesome. Right, everyone's actually full health now. Still pretty low on uh, various resources, but doesn't matter. Can we open this door? Yes, we can. One of the several keys we picked up. Ooh. Well, I was kind of hoping that we were oh, going to find housing through here, but instead it's just a treasure hoard. Still, I'm going to turn my nose up it. Now, I did see, one of the reasons why this is probably going to go up a bit later than normal. Um, also, totally forgot to upload yesterday's episode, so, you know. Or rather, no, sorry. Correct myself. I uploaded it. I forgot to then put out like, a tweet advertising it, so you might not have... Sin that one till today. A chest within a crate. How very uh, meta. Yeah, the reason I'm recording this one a little bit later than normally I would have is there was a fairly sizable, well, like 3 gig update which downloaded really quick and then took ages to actually install. And I looked through the patch notes. Apparently, you know, they, they fixed a lot of things. Didn't see any. Like, in the list of all the things. Oh, what's this? Where have this item gained Saloon's Dream and Evocation Cantrip? Oh, I should give that to uh, Shadowheart. I should hate it. But, um... Why am I so meant to be looking for this bloody Night Song thing? Whatever that is. Oh. Didn't want to move that. Yeah, so I was looking through the list of all the things that it fixed. Didn't really seem to have fixed any of the stuff that's been causing me the most issues. If I'm honest. Alright. That didn't help us much. There was just some loot. Now, I did find, while going around doing looting, that there were a few... Well, I, I suppose, transition points. Um, they're not shown up on the map, which is great. But, for example, 
Maybe we can see down down here. Yeah, cave mouth. Where does that go? Now I assumed that it's a sneaky way, you know, another way to get into the temple rather than coming in through the front door. But maybe, just maybe, given that, you know, they talked about Halsin being in the spider pits, etc. And there were spiders down there. Maybe that's going to take us where we need to go. So let's try this out. Wow, we're a bit almost at time for this part. And all we've really done is level up and look in some boxes. Let's see where this takes us. We're still in the temple. Oh, spider eggs. Great. Okay, let's push on in. Hmm. Now where? Bloody map. Uh, camera, rather. Screwing me over. Secret doors, anywhere? Any buttons that I can press? Anything at all? This is where I'd like to ask to do, to do an investigation check. See if I can find anything, but that doesn't seem to be an option. I can't see any... I can't see any buttons or knobs on the wall. I can't see any funny looking flagstones that might be a pressure plate that would open something. I am a little bit stumped. What is the purpose of this place? Oh, that's definitely a dead end. Can't go that way. Can't imagine these spider eggs are going to house anything particularly interesting. How very bizarre. I must be missing something really obvious right now. Is it like a key in one of these things? Some kind of special orb that if I take it up to the walls it'll suddenly open the door? Not you, Gail. You could help by figuring out where the hell we're meant to be going. That would be great. Because I have no idea. Pointless spider eggs. Well, that's just back the way we came. There's no point going that way. We explored everything around there, didn't we? I didn't feel like we left anything missing. Oh, I tell you what. So I have a feeling that this is probably a space that you drop down into from above. Maybe outside somewhere there's a hole that you can jump down and it'll bring you here. All right. Let's go back out into the main bit of temple. There was a door in that chamber that we went through before we went into the one with Minthara in. What do you just do the same throw against? Oh, probably spiderweb. Yep. Yep, Shadowheart got snared. Idiot. So if we go back up here... Is she coming? Yep, she got herself free. And round here... Yeah, maybe through there there's something. Only one way to find out. Oh, we never searched that sarcophagus, did we? Never searched any of these. Bones. Let me guess, more bones? Oh no, a gold piece. And... Oh, it's a skeleton we could search. Oh, a ring of poison resistance. Very nice. Might kit someone out with that. Now, I have a feeling it wants me to lift the lid off this one. Okay, I'm not strong enough. Shadow Art, you're the beefcakes. Oh, you're not strong enough either. Wow. Alright, cool. We're not moving that then. Whatever. Let's see what's through the ornate door. Warg pens. Oh, great. And there's goblins in here too. So, this is going to be a whole thing. And we're probably going to have a bit of a ruckus down here. And we are literally just coming up on 30 minutes. So... I know it wasn't a particularly exciting part, we didn't really do a whole lot other than levelling up uh, and checking out our inventories a little bit. But that's where we're going to leave it for today because I don't want to run into an hour like we did with yesterday's one. Um, but yeah, because I forgot to do the little notification on Twitter, you're probably only finding out that, about that one now. Or already have, or at the same time as this one. Whatever, you know what I mean. So, hey, you're technically you're spoiled in that respect. So we'll pick this one up in the next part as we explore the wall pens. Like and subscribe if you're enjoying what I do for whatever reason. Uh, go and check out the Burning Blades. Trust me, those videos are a lot better than these ones. Uh, rather than me ham-fistedly 
stumbling and fumbling my way through an early access game, I'm DMing my friends through Tyranny of Dragons, and I think it's a pretty good campaign, uh, all things considered. Uh, I know I'm biased, but hey, go and check it out. Other than that, hope you have a good one. I'll catch you later on. Bye-bye.